Hi, I'm Lynn. And hi, I'm Leslie. And we're here today, we're going to show you the AccuQuilt Go Big Churn Dash Die, and this finishes at 12 inches. And it's a new bob, right? That's correct. Mm -hmm. So bob is a block on board, so that means that uh, you have every shape that you need to create an entire block in one die. So it really makes cutting quick and easy, plus you don't have to, uh, you don't have to go find several different dies in order to get that, one, that mm -hmm. one block. And because it's on a bigger board, it will only work in the Go electric? In the Go mm -hmm. Big, go big. Yes. That's, that's a mm -hmm. great tip that we definitely want to <laughs> mention. Um, so the pattern that comes with the, uh, the Go Big Churn Dash die is behind us, and this is called the uh, Go Baby Churn Dash. And uh, do you want to talk a little bit about the really sure. cool, uh, what we've done here? So this may look a little different to the Churn Dash block than you might be used to. We've put it on point, and that just gave it a nice little modern twist to the, to the traditional pattern. Right, because mm -hmm. this this uh, this pattern uh, design it comes from the 1800s, mm -hmm. so it is it's it's a very old but well loved and actually very trendy right now. A lot of different things you can do by fabric choice or uh, turning it on point like this to really take that traditional design and make it new again. Mm -hmm. And it's a pretty quick and. I think very fun looking baby quilt mm -hmm. that you can make with those colors. All right, so let's let's go ahead and, and show you how to cut with this die. The way that this is designed is that with two layers of fabric, you get an entire churn dash block. So if you cut six layers, which is what you can uh, cut with a go die, you get three full churn dash blocks in just one pass. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you want to make sure with this that you are cutting on the lengthwise grain as it goes through the cutter. And uh, one way um, that you can make sure if you have your salvage edge on your fabric, that, that the salvage edge is facing you or your belly button, what, whichever way mm -hmm. is easiest for you to mm -hmm. remember. Um, the other way, if you don't have your salvage, that the, um, the strongest part of the fabric, if you just give it a tug, you can tell which way that is, and that's you want to lay it so it's laying this way through the cutter. Um, you also want to make sure that uh, your, um, with your two-tone foam that you're laying your fabric just over the shape that you want to cut. A couple of other um, tips about this. You can fan fold if you want, uh, or you can layer your fabrics. And if you do fan fold and you're cutting the width of, of strips, um, of fabric strips, that just leave about a half inch total so that you can make sure that your, sh your shape is, is cut as, you're, as it's going through the, through the cutter. And then your centerpiece, you just need one of these with the churn dash. So for our demonstration here, we're just gonna cut with one layer there. If you are cutting six layers here, you'd need three of these. Okay, so we'll cover that. And because this is electric, we need to turn it on. I wanna make sure I do that. Mm -hmm. And then as that's doing its magic, I could be over here uh, setting up another die. So if I was cutting some binding with two and a half inch strips or something like that, I could have that die ready to go and send it through as soon as this one's done. It's so fun to watch that go through. <laughs> Okay, so we'll slide that off, and then we've started our block here, uh, but I'm gonna give you, there's the okay. rectangles Correct. and then the, the half square triangles. So we took the time to lay them um, together, right sides together, so these are just ready to pick up and start putting through the sewing machine. It's a really great block, because it's basically three construction parts. You, excuse me for Sorry. a second. You have your square in your center, uh, and then our other two units are half square triangles and rectangles and so four of each and one of your center and we have all our components for the block. So I'm just going to take these and put them through the machine. The half square triangles also come out so that they're already notched and so I've got my quarter inch mark just to go right through there. I do want to make sure when I'm putting it under my machine that I get the corner of the half square triangle all the way up to the needle so that the machine can grab the fabric and feed it through. Your dog ears have a little bit of a gap there, so if you get between them, it won't always grab the fabric. And so uh, with half square triangles, uh, these are really quick and easy if you lay out your blocks ahead of time or even if you just have a stack of them ready to go and right sides together, yep. you can chain sew. Mm -hmm. And definitely I would just chain into my next one. Mm -hmm. And that's the other nice advantage of being notched, it's all ready to do that. Right. So, uh, and then you can do the same thing with your rectangles as well. Uh, if you want to. Mm -hmm. So uh, this goes together really easily. And I would press to my darker color 
because it would shadow through on the white. So I would press to the pink on all of my half square triangles for this block. And then I would just gotta do the rectangle. And the pattern uh, uh, has all of the pressing instructions included so that um, you can find the details of that there. It's so fun when the pieces are exactly the same size and they come out just perfect. And again, I would press probably to the pink there so we don't have shadowing through. And so now that I have the rows constructed, I would keep going until I got all the parts to it. We're gonna take this one over and we would sew it onto here and this one. So we could create our three rows. And then with our pressing, I would wanna press my top and bottom row one direction and my center row opposite. So when I put the rows together, they just totally line right up here and I would put a pin there mm -hmm. so my intersections match up. Okay, and the gr other great thing about this 12 inch finish size is that this, uh, this die coordinates with all of our eight inch and 12 inch mix and match sets. Mm -hmm. And also, if you really wanna get creative and uh, some of the other block on board designs that finish at 12 inch, you could, you could have a little fun and mix and match this, uh, the turn dash design with other designs. So we could create some other blocks. That's right. just a turn dash, cool. Right. <laughs>